Hello everyone, welcome in this tutorial. This is the third part of the PostgreSQL tutorial series. Here in this tutorial, we will see how to connect to the PostgreSQL server and how to connect to the database. And there we will see how to execute the query in the PostgreSQL. So we will see all this stuff in this video tutorial. Let's get it started. Go to your uh, start menu and there you have to search for the postgre folder and here you can see pg admin 4 just launch this software if you guys have not seen my uh, first and second tutorial on the postgresql so you can visit the link in the description box so here it will ask you for uh, one browser so every time you will open that admin tool so that will open with the browser so you can select the browser of your choice i am giving the google chrome this is my choice so it is opening now so this is pg4 admin it will ask you first time to set a master password so you can give any password of your choice okay so password is set now now come here on the server click once once you click you will be asked to connect to server and you have to give the password guys this is the password the, that we have set at the time of installation so if you try to give any other password that will not be accepted so you have to remember that password that is explained in the installation tutorial admin admin is my password so i have given here now it is connected and you will see all these stuff on the right hand side so the postgresql server is running and here under the database tree we have the option also we have option to create the another server we will learn this thing in the next tutorial so here we will see what is inside the tree so here's the databases and one database is pre-created this is postgres and here under the schema we have the table section but here no table is created this is blank so in this example we will see to create a table and uh, how we execute this query i will describe you in this tutorial okay now expand this tree and uh, select the database on which you want to execute the query so database name is postgres and you can see here uh, this i can click once this is the query tool to execute the query once you click you can see on the right hand side there's the text area this is the query editor which is open it now and we are good to go to execute a query so here you can write a simple query select version i am executing this query because there is a no table present inside by default so we are trying to show you a demo so this is written and come here on this i can click uh, this button or click the f5 so the query execution done and you will see the message in the bottom in a green font so query executed successfully and here we can create a new table so i'm going to write a simple create table query so syntax is almost same if you want to know more just visit the website of uh, postgre sql and there you will get the uh, complete documentation to the query syntax for creating the table and guys this is the query that i have written i am trying to create an employee table with employee id as a primary key and there is a serial keyword which is uh, used to increase the employee id by one employee name unique and uh, here we go so we have executed this query and we got the message successfully done and uh, now we will see the result so come here in this schema do the right click and here's a refresh just select that one and you will see that inside the table section one table is created successfully there's the employee table okay you can expand and you can see the columns name as well employee id that we have given employee name and employee email 
okay also the constraint already created because uh, you have specified the primary key unique not null unique not null okay so guys this is the way you can connect to the postgresql server with the pg admin gui tool and uh, here's the query window so you can execute the query this way and here guys uh, we have a uh, lots of uh, small tools tool menu available so we will see all the stuff in later tutorials the purpose of this tutorial only to give you the glimpse and the basic idea how to proceed with the postgresql and guys there's a lots of document available on this official website of postgresql so we just proceed with that and explore more and uh, related to this if you have any doubts so please comment i will try my best to reply as soon as possible and guys if you found this video useful so please like this video and share with your friends as well and uh, let us know if you want more videos on the postgresql and guys please subscribe this channel and uh, Press the notification bell icon and you will get the latest video updates from my channel on time. And guys for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.